Welcome to the Pokemon Uprising, I'm your leader of the Defy One, aka Sharp to Queen Four, and today I'm introducing to you a brand new Nuzlocke idea. Presenting this idea with me today is Shinkuro. Shinkuro was a huge help in developing this incredible Nuzlocke variant. What's up guys, my name is Shinkuro, I'm usually a GFX artist, but today we're here to talk about this awesome new idea called a Haunt Lock. What's a Haunt Lock, you might ask yourself? A Haunt Lock is a variation of the standard Nuzlocke. All standard Nuzlocke rules do apply, but for those of you who don't know the rules of a Nuzlocke, Shin Curl will kick it off with rule number one. Just like any other variant of a Nuzlocke, all standard rules apply, such as rule number one, any fainted Pokemon are considered to be dead and must be placed in a dead box or released. Rule number two, the first Pokemon encountered on each route are the only Pokemon that you may capture. Rule number three, all Pokemon must receive nicknames to enhance the emotional bonds between the Pokemon and the player. Those are the three major rules to any standard Nuzlocke. Rule number four, if a Pokemon faints, the rest of the party are now haunted and cannot use any moves that the dead Pokemon had in his move set before death. Rule number five, any of the five remaining Pokemon that knew a move that the dead Pokemon had must keep that move resulting in a locked move slot. Rule number six, the Pokemon that replaces the dead Pokemon is cursed and must remain in the dead Pokemon slot until it dies. Rule number seven, the replacing Pokemon is not affected to the move restriction. In other words, only the Pokemon present during a Pokemon's death are affected. Rule number eight, ghost type Pokemon can be resurrected one time and cannot have any move restrictions, but you may only use one ghost type in your party at any given time. Rule number 9, a Pokemon can be exercised by replacing a Pokemon from the PC of equivalent level, thus removing any move restrictions a Pokemon may have because they were present during a Pokemon's death. The final rule is optional is meant for playing with a friend. Rule number 10, when a Pokemon faints you are given the ability to curse your significant other into restricting his or her ability to do a certain action, such as not being able to switch out or use items. There is a catch to this rule during the verses though, all standard haunt lock rules apply to the player who lost a Pokemon, so it isn't advised to lose a Pokemon on the purpose unless you know that Pokemon has no negative effect on you, and can be used as a method of screwing up the other player. Another thing before we go, we may even do a versus haunt lock to demonstrate how to play the lock itself, so like the video if you're hyped about doing this lock yourself, and comment down below what is your favorite ghost type Pokemon. There you have it! In a nutshell, that is the Haunt Lock. I think it'll prove to be a formidable challenge that'll be just as fun to watch as it is to play. I hope this Nuzlocke variant grows into what it's capable of becoming. All I have to say is if you are a new viewer and you want to listen to Rebellion, all you need to do is suck a punch the subscribe button and heck suck a punch that like button because every little bit helps. And I will be back with bigger and better Pokemon videos. So until next time, guys. So see you guys on the next one.